very quick video on the volume of right triangle based pyramids. Now these are sort of hard to uh, visualize and hopefully by the end of this video you'll get an idea of what these things actually look like but uh, if we compare them to what we saw with square based pyramids, square based pyramids look something like this where we have a pyramid with a square at the bottom. Here we don't. Here we have a right triangle. It's very tough to draw. I'm not even going to try it. This is the best picture I've got. A triangle with our base being, it's sitting on a right triangle. Excuse me, so it's a pyramid rather with a, with a base of a right triangle. All right, And the formula is pretty much the same. It's the same as this one. The formula over here was one-third times s squared times height. Our s squared, of course, is the area of the square. But in this case, the area is, right here, is not the area of a square. It's actually a triangle, so we have to remember that that area is one-half base times height. And the tricky part is there's another height down in the big formula. Well, that height is actually right here. So that might have been a little bit confusing. So here I kind of simplified it for you here. In this case, I turned the base blue. And I said, all right, the area of the base is something that we'll call capital B. Right? When we say capital B, we mean the area of the base. So you're going to multiply that times the height of the overall pyramid, which, as I said, goes from here to here, and then times a third. So let's try a couple. This first one we have, let's see, let's label the stuff. First of all, our base is down here. All right, the base is what the thing is sitting on. In this case, of course, it's a right triangle. So let's first find the area of the base. We'll call that capital B. The area of a right triangle is one half base times height. So notice the difference between capital B and lowercase b. In that triangle, it doesn't matter what lowercase b and what h are. They're the same. They're, I mean, they're interchangeable. So that would be, let's see, 1 half times 10 is 5. That would be 25 square units. That's the area of the base. And we're going to multiply that by the height of the pyramid. So the volume is 1 third times that capital B times the height of the pyramid. So it's 1 third times 25 times 7. 1 third times 25 times 7. We get 58.3 repeating. And that will be a cubic units. The volume of that pyramid is in cubic units. And there we go, number two. So this time we want to make sure that we know exactly where the base is. The base is always going to be where the right triangle is in these problems. So we find our base. Our base has a right angle on it. Right, The right angle is right here. So that means that that is our base. To find the area of that base, capital B, we, do, we go the area of a, a triangle. So that's 1 half times 94 times 75. 1 half times 94, that's 47 times 75. I'll get my calculator in a second. And then we're going to multiply that by a third and by the height of the overall pyramid. <clears throat> in this case, the height of the overall pyramid is 66. Now, if that's a little confusing for you, maybe you might want to rotate the shape. What I did here was I rotated my pyramid and I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison. They're the same pyramid. 
One's just sort of rotated down so the base is a little bit easier to see. So now our base, same, same pyramid, the base is down there this time. That base is, the area of the base rather, is this product 47 times 75 and the height is 66. So we'll go to our calculator and we'll type all that stuff in. 47 times 75 times 66 times a third. Or maybe I'll just divide by 3. Divide by 3. And you get 77,550. So the volume is equal to 77. 1550 cubic units that's the volume of the pyramid number three so this one's a little bit I think different here we have hopefully an easier time finding the uh, finding the base All right the base in this case is what it's what the pyramid is actually sitting on so that's a right triangle you can tell because there's a right angle right back there so we're gonna find the area of that base capital B I'm purposely writing my capital B sort of obnoxiously big there just to make the difference between capital B and lowercase b it's one half times 18 times 24 now if I were to sort of draw that base off to the side it would look like this 18 24 and 30 notice 30 is the hypotenuse it's across from the right angle when you're finding the area of a triangle it doesn't matter what the hypotenuse is this is your base and this is your height they're always going to be perpendicular to each other in right triangles the base and height are always perpendicular to each other they are to, intersecting at 90 degrees in other words so we don't even use 30 in this case 1 half of 18 is 9 times 24 that's 180 plus 36 that's 216 alright the volume formula takes that 216 and multiplies it by the height in this case you can see the height hopefully is really simple that is going straight down to the base at a right angle that's 23 and we're good to go the next step in the in the process is to get your calculators out here and we go 216 times 23 divided by 3 remember multiplying by a third is the same as dividing by 3 so we get 1656 and that's cubic feet so that would be the volume, the amount of stuff that you can fit inside your pyramid. So the difference between right triangle based pyramids and square pyramids is of course what they're actually sitting on. The base is different. Now some pyramids might have bases that are, you know, hexagons or octagons you can have all sorts of different pyramids but the formula remains the same for any pyramid it's a third times the area of the base times the height the variation is in what capital B is depending on what kind of shape it is will determine the formula you need to kind of use to find capital B the area of the base